Hello, my name is Kieran Arnold, and I am a presenter at the Manfred Olson Planetarium, and today I will be sharing a virtual night sky with you on April 7th, 2020, at about 8.15 p.m. Let's start with the constellation of Orion. Orion is the easiest constellation to find in terms of winter constellations. It looks like a bow tie. Orion has three stars in the middle that make up his belt, and they point to the brightest star in the sky called Sirius. Orion has two shoulders, Betelgeuse and Bellatrex, has two knees, a sword, and he's holding up a shield because he's afraid of Taurus the Bull, who is a V-shaped constellation. So here is Betelgeuse, here is Bellatrex right here, here is his belt, and the belt of Orion points right to Sirius. Here's his sword, two knees, one of which happens to be Rigel, and he's holding up an arm here, and he's holding up a shield, because like I said, he's afraid of the bull next door, which is Taurus, which is right here. This star is called Aldebaran. Aldebaran is Arabic for the follower because as the night progresses, Aldebaran seems to be chasing the seven sisters, the Pleiades, which is right here. Before we go and look at the moon, I want to look at an object that is not a star or a constellation, but I want to look at an object that is indeed a planet and it is one of Earth's neighbors. It is the planet Venus. Venus is right here. And Venus is probably, arguably, the brightest object after the sun and moon. And if we can zoom in on Venus and we can get a closer look at it. Venus is usually a crescent shape when it's brightest. It's usually, we, 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 it's really hard to see Venus much bigger than this because Venus because it's closer to the sun than us, is hard to see it when it's more full. But that is Venus. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at the moon. There's a few um, astronomical goodies in this area. First though, we'll look at the moon which in this case is full. Very pretty full moon. Now there's a couple there's a couple objects here that are really really interesting. There's two stars. First, I want to show you a star called Spica. Spica is right here. And Spica I always like it because of its name. It has a really cool name. It's a fun name to say. You say Spica. But that is Spica, that bluish star right there. And this star, this bigger star here, is Arcturus. Arcturus is an interesting star because it's a star that is not from our galaxy, we believe. We believe it's an alien star because of the way it appears, the things that we believe it's made out of. We don't believe that it is from the Milky Way. So we call it the alien star. All right, let's move on to the Big and Little Dipper. So the Big Dipper is probably one of the most prominent constellations in terms of the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, the Big Dipper is right here. I'll show it to you. Here's the handle. Here is the frying pan or shopping cart. And these two stars here, the big, these two stars in the Big Dipper here, we call pointer stars, because if you extend them this way five times, you run into the North Star. So if we extend them one, two, three, four, five, here's the North Star or Polaris. And Polaris is actually at the top of the Little Dipper. So here's the little handle and the little frying pan or shopping cart.
Alright, so with that being said, I would like to thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.